Hello everyone, welcome to part number 12. Sorry for the long wait. So in this video, it's gonna be a simple one. It's just, finally, we just want to add some kind of uh, an authorization error. Uh, if a user try to delete something or update something who is not the owner. So it's gonna be a pretty simple one. Why I want to show you that is just because I just, with that I think after that you're gonna be able to build, I mean, almost whatever you want with this uh, GQL gen stuff, so I'm gonna find it's gonna be pretty easy. It's gonna be almost the same thing we've done in the Rest API, same pattern. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty simple one, but yeah. Uh, so what we're we gonna do is we're gonna start inside the project uh, domain, inside the domain file, inside the domain package. What we want to add here is gonna be just a simple interface. We're gonna call that Unable. Own enable, um, and here we're gonna have one method, and that's gonna be called is owner. And this method, we want to return a boolean. And here, the only thing we need to do is to receive a model user pointer. In Go, uh, if you read like effective Go and other stuff like that, they say when you have like one uh, method inside an interface to give it like this kind of variable. So uh, like writable, readable and stuff like that. So yeah, so after that here, what we want to do is to create a, a simple function and this one's gonna be check ownership. So the job of this function is gonna just be to do like kind of a, uh, like you're gonna take uh, uh, the function we're gonna almost always use, so we're gonna just dry up the code, but also you're gonna make us uh, make our life easier to work with the interface. So here we're gonna receive the interface. So I'm gonna say O for enable, and here we're gonna also receive a model user. The only thing we want to do with this um, uh, function here is just we just want to call the is owner method and to pass it the user. So now after that we can use this function really easily and all that just by calling the ownable. The thing is I know you can have done just the is owner or something like that. You can go with the check, uh, check ownership. Uh, I'm gonna show you both. You're gonna choose which one you want but yeah you're gonna see it's gonna be pretty simple. After that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go inside my out um, uh, Package here where I have my uh, error. I don't want that there. I want that just at the top of my domain and Because they go to the same uh, package The out don't need to import nothing. It's the same thing It's just because now here what I want to do is to add another error and I'm gonna say error for B then uh, So this error is gonna just be about getting back to the, uh, the user a unitarized error. So this error is the error you send when the user don't have like the role or uh, something like that. Uh, um, example, if he's not the owner, something like that, this is something we want to put in A. Uh, you can go further, you are not supposed to get there, you're not supposed to delete or update something. And now where we can add all this stuff, it's now if you go to the meetup domain, we have here the delete meetup, and we have the update meetup. Right now, look here. The delete meetup don't do any kind of check first if the user is even authenticated. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy paste the create meetup logic while we do the if checkman. Here we cannot return nil because we return a, a boolean, so we're gonna return false. So if the user is not authenticated, you, you receive this error, so you can go further. After that, we do fetch the meetup. And after that, this is where we can do a check. But the thing is, we cannot, example, call check ownership and pass meetup and current user. Because meetup do not uh, follow the implementation. So what I can do is I can create right from it implement, implement missing method that's gonna create this um, missing method on the file where my struct is created. And I want to use the pointer of the meter, and the only job is gonna do this one is gonna be to return if the m that user id equal equal the user the id, and now this one follow. 
After that, I can do a check. So if it's not the owner, I'm gonna return false and I'm gonna return forbidden. The other way, I think, yeah, maybe it makes sense. It's if you check right from here, like that. And I think this way, it will make more sense because you know what is the owner. This one is more like functional. This one's gonna be quite more like uh, object oriented. Um, so I think I'm gonna go with this one, but I want to show you both way, like what you like the most. Um, but here I think it makes sense to just uh, from the meetup object himself to check if it's the owner. After that, we're gonna do the same thing with the update because right now we don't do any kind of check also if the user is authenticated. Now here we cannot return false because we need to return nil because it's a pointer to modern meetup. And after that, I want to, after we get the meetup, we're gonna do a check if the meetup is owner and we pass the current user. So if it's not the owner, we return nil and we return the forbidden error. So you see, it's a pretty simple code. We don't do a lot. One thing I've done, uh, it, I've, I've um, add some fake data to my uh, database where I have like three fake user who here the password is only password so that's why like the, it's the same I just copy paste that in right there and after that I have my meetup who uh, I have uh, uh, like the user one and user two have a meetup so the plan now is gonna to be to log as user two and trying to delete the user one uh, stuff and update the user one stuff. And after that, we're gonna to try to delete our stuff. So I'm gonna start my server. So perfect, everything is comp uh, compiling. So first I'm gonna log. So it's a pretty easy job, but before that, I'm gonna to try to delete without being logged. So you see, I have no HTTP header at all. So I'm gonna delete the meetup. Now I get you not okay. You know not okay. Yep. Yeah. We're gonna also do another mutation for the update meetup just to check. It's always good to always come back to your stuff and checking if everything is still working. And okay, and I just want update name. Checking if everything is working perfectly. Perfect. I'm gonna try to update. Same error, and uh, the only thing they change is the path, so that makes sense. I mean, I'm not authenticated at all, so I'm not supposed to hit those endpoints. So, what happened right now, really easily, I'm stuck right there, and I'm stuck right there. After that, no, I'm logging, I'm gonna copy paste this access token I receive, and I'm gonna put that inside an object here authorization, and that's gonna be that and I'm gonna prefix with bearer. So now I should be able to delete a meetup. But I'm gonna try to delete a meetup who I'm not the owner. So you see I'm the owner, I'm the user ID two and I'm gonna try to delete the ID number one who the owner is user one. If I try, boom, unitarize. So now if we follow that again, that mean I try to delete something I was able, I was logged. We were able to get a meetup. The meetup was existing, but I'm stuck right there. And that's perfect because after that, it's the delete. So we do each step by step of what we want before the user are able to do the action of this uh, mutation. So right now, delete not working. I'm gonna try to update the, the same one. Perfect, you not arise. That's perfect. Uh, I'm gonna take now my meetup number four, who is the, it's me as the user ID. So I'm gonna first update it. So it's four, I'm gonna run that. Now I get the ID back because this is the only thing I ask. But now in the database, I get update name. So now it looks like it's perfect. And now if I want to delete the meetup with number four, Boom, now I receive true back because in this case, when we delete, we return a boolean or an error. 
So everything is working there and inside the database, if I'm refreshing that right now, ID4 is not there. And just to check it back again, I'm going to just cut that. So I'm going to be able to paste that again. Create meetup, don't work. You know that okay, makes sense. You need to be a user. I'm going to create a new meetup. Now it's number five. Number five, I can update it. So number five, update name, delete meetup. If I try to delete something we don't exist, boom, meetup non exists. And the reason is because we get stuck right there. And finally, if I'm trying to delete number five, I get through, that means it's not there anymore. So I hope you did like this short video, uh, it was a simple one. Um, it's not that crazy, but I mean, just now at least you can know how to, to do this kind of stuff. Uh, as you can see, like this on our function right now, just because we don't like the, we don't really use right now like the interface himself because uh, that's that was one of the reasons why I did create this uh, check ownership right there. Just because now you can pass any kind of type structure if he at least uh, followed this contract. But it's you. If you like more this way or you like more the check on our ship, it's going to do the same job. So at the end of the day, it's your choice. So I hope you enjoy and we're going to talk uh, in the next video. I'm not quite sure uh, if I'm going to do another video on this tutorial because right now I'm uh, creating this uh, Uber clone. Uh, yeah, so um, but if you have any kind of idea about what is missing in this video, uh, I would be happy to show that. I think maybe one of the things I want to show, it's maybe like directive or union. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's uh, yeah, just let me know. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy and we're going to talk in the next video. Bye, everyone.